Okay, so now uh, we're asked to find the current in the 4 ohm resistor. Um, Alright, so uh, we've got a multiple battery situation here. And I'm going to just apply um, Kirchhoff's loop laws. Oops. Here. All right. And um, this battery is three volts, six volts. Nine volts. Um, I wish there was a way to like rotate this without. Uh, oh, okay. There. Uh, two ohms, eight ohms, and four ohms. So this is the one we're interested in. Uh, the loop I'm going to draw, or the loops I should say. So I'll start with this one. I'm also going to assume that current runs in this direction. So that'll be my first uh, Kirchhoff loop. Um, now for, it's easier to remember the sign signage here. If we call the little guy a zero and the big guy a three, and so um, going from zero to three is a gain of plus three volts. And then we're dropping uh, I1 across our 2 ohm resistor. Is that what I did? I don't want to do well. Okay, there it is. There. Okay, we're dropping. We've got our current one, which is being dropped across our two ohm resistor here. Um, and then we're coming down here and gaining uh, another six volts as we go across this guy, and then we're going to drop um, some I. Two across this four ohm resistor. Okay, and then we're going to be back at the beginning of our loop. So now for our second loop, um, I'm going to draw this one. And so now I've got, um, so our first loop, <clears throat> for our second loop, we've got three volts minus our I1 times our two ohms. And now we're dropping a third voltage, a third uh, current across the eight ohm resistor. And we're going uh, from nine to zero, so we're dropping nine volts across that battery. And this should, these should both equal zero, I should have said. Uh, and so then there's our two loops. Now to solve for our individual currents, we also need um, I1 is our total current. So I1 is equal to I2 plus I3 in this case. And so then we can say that, um, and because we're solving for um, our I2, so that's the one we want, then we might as well express it as I3 is I1 minus I2. Um, <clears throat> and I'm just doing that to try to uh, eliminate I3 as fast as possible. So then if we take the second equation down here, then we this becomes uh, nine mi 3 minus 9 is uh, minus 6 volts minus I1 times 2 ohms. I'm just dropping some of the decimals here that are unnecessary. 
I1 minus I2 times 8 ohms equals 0, minus 6 volts. Um, 8 and 2 is minus 10 I1. And um, I'm going to end up with a plus 8 ohms I2 equals 0. Um, so we can solve now for our I1 in terms of our I2. So we can uh, bring the I1 to the other side and then divide it all by 10. So I1 is minus 6 volts over 10 ohms plus 8 ohms over 10 ohms I2. Okay, and now we can plug this into our first equation. So our first equation was, um, just to rewrite it here, minus 6 volts minus I1. Uh, was it minus 6 volts? No, it was, sorry, it was uh, 6 volts plus 3 volts is 9 volts, so plus 9 volts. Minus I1 times 2 ohms. I'm just going to try it. Draw it not quite so. 2 ohms times I1. <clears throat> Minus 8 ohms. Um, oh, sorry. Minus 4 ohms times I2 equals 0. Getting myself all mixed up here. Yeah. Okay. So that was our that was our first equation, and so we can plug in our I one into there. So nine volts minus two ohms times minus six volts over ten ohms plus eight ohms over ten ohms. Actually, we can cancel our ohm units there. <clears throat> minus four ohms times I two equals zero. Okay, so now um, that we have this, we can uh, collect some terms here. So we've got nine plus six over five, so this becomes a plus, and that's, they're, about, they're all in volts. Um, <coughs> Minus 8 over 5 ohms I2, and then minus 4 ohms I2 equals 0. We can now um, pull our I2 to the other side and rearrange, and so then I2 is 9 plus 6 over 5 volts over 4 plus 8 over 5 ohms which is 10.2 volts over 5.6 ohms, which is 1.821 amps. So then I2 is 1.821 amps, and that's the current through the um, 4 ohm resistor. So that's our current. Checking to our solution here. Um, so we want to use a couple of Kirchhoff loops and then we get 1.821 amps. So that looks good.